simply terrible at them. She did not fear considering Rice was cool. And she had fun pulling the other team into a muddy puddle in the tug of war, knocking over the obstacles in the obstacle race, and crashing into aerobic owl in the sack race. But oh, to actually win something. There was just one race left before sports day was over, the cross country run, the event Henry hated more than any other. One long, sweaty, exhausting lap around the whole field. Henry heaved his heavy bones to the starting line, his final chance to win, yet he knew there was no hope. If he beat Weepy William, he'd be doing well. Suddenly, Henry had a wonderful, spectacular idea. Why had he never thought of this before? Truly, he was a genius. Wasn't there some ancient Greek who'd won a race by throwing down golden apples which his rival kept stopping to pick up? Couldn't he, Henry, learn something from those old Greeks? Ready, steady, go, shrieked Miss Basilax. Off they dashed. Go, Al, go, yelled his father. Do your best, Henry, said Mum. Horrid Henry reached into his pocket and hurled some sweets. They thudded to the ground in front of the runners. Look, sweets, shouted Henry. Al checked behind him. He was well in the lead. He paused and scooped up one sweet and then another. He glanced behind again. Then he started unwrapping the yummy gummy fuzzball. Sweets, yelped greedy Graham. He stopped to pick up as many as he could find and then stuff them in his mouth. Yummy, screamed Graham. Sweets, where? chanted the others. Then they stopped to look. Over there, yelled Henry, throwing another handful. The racers paused to pounce on the treats. While the others munched and crunched, Henry made a frantic dash for the lead. He was out in front. Henry's leg moved as they'd never moved before, pounding round the field. And there was the finishing line. Thud, thud, thud. Henry glanced back. Oh no, aerobic owl was catching up. Henry felt in his pocket. He had one giant gobstopper left. He looked around, pounding. Go home and take a nap, Henry, shouted Al, sticking his tongue out as he raced past. Henry threw down the gobstopper in front of Al. Aerobic Al hesitated, then skidded to a halt and picked it up. He could beat Henry any day, so why not show off a bit? Suddenly, Henry sprinted past. Aerobic Al dashed after him. Harder and harder, faster and faster, Henry ran. He was a bird, he was a plane. He flew across the finishing line. The winner is Henry, squeaked Miss Basilax. I've been robbed, screamed Aerobic Al. Hooray, yelled Henry. Wow, what a great day, thought Horrid Henry, proudly carrying home his trophy. Al's dad shouting at Miss Battleax. Miss Battleax and Mum shouting back. Peter sent off in disgrace. And he, Henry, the big winner. I can't think how you got those eggs muddled up, said Mum. Me neither, said Perfect Peter, sniffling. Never mind, Peter, said Henry brightly. It's not winning, it's how you play that counts.